Well, hello everyone, Stakuya here, and just take a look at all these nations. I see so many different great powers, with such varied, grand histories. Wars of conquest, glory, and greatness. Okay, maybe, maybe not as much. But what if there was another way? What if we did something different? After all, as that famous quote goes, What makes a man turn neutral? Lust for gold? Power? Or were you just born with a heart full of neutrality? Ah yes, Switzerland. Land of neutrality. And also, perhaps, just accepting gold from whoever is willing to pay. There's totally not a varied history there at all that would be kind of questionable. But well, Switzerland, let's see what you can do. Alright, so by blood alone actually added a fairly significant focus tree for the Swiss. When I was actually at ParadoxCon, I went ahead and tested down the fascist path just to see what would happen here. And I'll be honest, I'll, I'll do a playthrough of that. It's it's fun, but at the same time, I I don't really like what they did with the fascist path. It takes way too long, in my opinion, to do anything down here. And I'm going to make a video specifically showing that and what I mean. I think among all the focus trees that I've seen in here, this Swiss focus tree path, this specific one, is my least favorite. But if instead of giving in to the Germans, or just being disgusting neutrals for that matter, let's have some fun with this one. Swiss guiding principles. Okay, so this is where we're going to be able to choose what exactly we're doing as Switzerland, because you have to actually choose to, you know, sway people to not be neutral. Otherwise, they just quite literally won't do anything. That's, that, that's kind of the point of neutrality. Let's see, this one is all about protecting neutrality. This is one about removing your neutrality, but not really changing your politics. And, well, this, this, this is the fascist one. As I said, let's be different. Because the thing is, in Switzerland, everything historically is a balance of power between the cantons and the actual people that are in charge. Because the cantons, or the cantons, I, I'm not even sure how it exactly pronounced that, but these are the individual regions within Switzerland that would make up the Federation. Like, the idea of Switzerland. That's how they banded together when it was still the Holy Roman Empire centuries prior. And honestly, we want to get ourselves more towards the middle here. We don't necessarily need to go all the way to get all that war support, because that's going to decrease our surrender limit, but... We do want to stay over here somewhat, at least in the middle, because that still keeps a higher surrender limit and simultaneously gives a way cheaper cost reduction for advisors if we have to switch. So it's, it's good to get here pretty quickly. Also, we can just wait a day and boom, 150 political power. We already start with three political advisors that increase our political power and stability and populator, pl uh, popularity, goddammit. And we're staying democratic, so we, we don't need to do anything. We start with three political advisors. What are we supposed to do in that situation? We're there already. So... We can immediately go early mobilization. Boom. Done. Is what it is. Now, the thing that sucks about Switzerland is that you can't actually change anything from the Swiss citizen militias. You can't, you can't do anything with this. You can't do anything because you can only recruit your militiamen. Do you know how many men are in the militia? We may have all this manpower, but the militia is composed of two battalions that we cannot upgrade right now. And we can only train 15 of them. God damn it. Anyway, National Defense Fund, let's go ahead and get some civvies. Let's see, election for the president, but that is going to also cause us... I, I guess it doesn't matter which one we actually choose. It, it, we, we, just, we got a president. And that removes one of our political advisors, because one of the political advisors becomes the president. And so once they're the president, then you have to choose someone. So in this case, civilian factory plus 10% construction. Uh, what do we want here? Stability plus 5. Diplomat, pragmatic democrat, that's more stability. We don't need any of this stuff. Corporatist, that's fascist. Looks like there's even an option to go communist in here, even if nothing else is really supporting it. We could even go unaligned, if we wanted to. But no, Swiss democracy, it's the ancient tradition, we're doing it. Because if you don't actually choose a person, you get a really negative effect, because you get a really bad advisor that is put in there that is like minus 50% political power. You don't want any of that. And if you were trying to go fascist or some other kind of power, and you wanted to remove the democratic representatives, this is how you would do it. You'd have to spend ludicrous amounts of political power to remove them. So a member of the Nazi party was assassinated. Now, what do we actually do? Well, let's see. This one makes Germany happy, but nah, we don't care about the Germans right now. Yeah, disperse might be necessary because, um, I think we're going to have a little bit of a problem around us eventually. And now reaffirm spiritual defense, which hurts our war support. God damn it. Well, let's try to see if we can get in this range as much as possible. So, council diplomatic effort, and then simultaneously, let's see if we can get another advisor in here that might need to help. Yeah, that appeasement will also help here, because th here's, the, here's the issue. Italy, Germany, whatever our focus tree is, it's going to reduce their opinion of us. If the opinion of the varying powers drops below a certain level, in this case, minus 85, then this will cause the other powers to declare war on us. And we don't want that right now. So yeah, don't, um, don't piss off the angry mustache man. 
Okay, and it's always going to be a good thing that you want to do the council diplomatic effort, because if you don't do that in the beginning, then you're going to still be in this level for full cantonal power. And the issue with that is that since your war support drops so low, because there's a literal 15% difference between these two things, that's going to run into a situation where you're going to have 2% war support and you're going to need to demobilize your economy. So make sure to save your points and actually do that. There we go, fortify the border with Italy, because we don't trust the pasta. I think they left it out last night, I just, I'm just saying. And let's ban some Nazi propaganda. The whole while, we are, we are going to need to keep on appeasing, because we are really going to piss off some Nazis. <laughs> Which normally is not a bad thing. In this situation, also not a bad thing. Alright, and now that we've done that, you can see this whole thing with absolute neutrality. So the idea is, if we drop our relations below a certain point, minus 85, it will cause the powers to declare war on us. And the idea is we're going to spend the political power to balance that to keep it in good shape for as long as possible. And now we go to trade some gold. Alright, allied gold, that's going to unlock a decision where we can go ahead and start opening banks to the allies. And it looks like in this case it's only France. But look at these bonuses. If France accepts, that is minus 2.5% consumer goods, 5% construction speed, 1% research, lack of resource penalty is not really affected, production efficiency cap 2.5%, and so that is for both powers. That is really strong, and the best part of this, we select it, France is willing to trade, okay, check that out, it gave it to us, boom, we can increase the trade and do it more. So if I just hit this again, France will trade through us again, okay, so that's done. That gives us this national idea. Look at that, minus 5% consumer goods, 10% construction speed, 2% research, which is not, that's not really much, but then production efficiency cap plus five. That construction speed and minus 5% consumer goods is insane. But the best part about it again is we can do it a third time. Three levels, all traded through, and now France is going to get that focus of being able to trade through us. And look at that, France in 1936, well I mean it's about to be 1937, but giving them minus 7.5% consumer goods, construction speed plus 15%, and production efficiency cap higher. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you this right now, Switzerland is going to be one of the most valuable, viable partners that you could possibly have in multiplayer games. Because if you get a Switzerland player, and you're playing multiplayer in this, if in the very beginning of the game, they rush down the gold path, it doesn't matter for which side, Axis, Allies, etc. But if you could convince Switzerland onto your side and get minus 7.5 consumer goods and 15% construction speed in 1936, like the very beginning of 1937, that is going to be insanely powerful. That is a huge boost. So that was minus 7.5. You then rush down this path, pro Helvetia, an additional minus 10%. We're going to have 2% consumer goods at that point. Oh, and see, this is the exact thing I'm talking about here. Look, we have no political advisor, we have to get a new one, we have five days to get one. If we don't, it's gonna give us a really bad advisor with stability loss, war sport loss, everything. You have to watch your political power and keep actually summon reserve. I'm running close, 1.53 a day, I got five days. Luckily, I will make it in time to get the 37 that I need. Literally zero days left if I did not get this. Let's go ahead and spawn out all the citizen militias that we can, just because we do want at least some more troops in here, and simultaneously we're going to want to trade them up. Train, not trade. Ooh, Rudolf Rosler, German nationality, okay. Let's go ahead and get that started over here. So now let's go and buy some planes, which apparently this is going to give a decision to be able to buy planes, so that's actually good, because we're going to have a lot of political power and not as much in the way of industry. Alright, partial mobilization, I think this should be good now. We're down to 0% consumer goods. Alright. All right, and in order to get this, we need to rush down to the left side of the balance of power. Okay, so that means I need to be somewhere in here in strong council control, which is going to take a little bit of time, especially with how expensive this is. So we're going to have to do other focus trees. Honestly, now that I'm looking into this, the non-aligned path looks really fun. We could preempt the Anschluss by annexing Austria. We could, ooh, ooh, expand the confederation. Dude, that looks fun. I probably need to do a playthrough of that. Well, let's get some other stuff done here first. Can I do this yet? No, it's still not there. What, what am I at? Minus 17. Urgh! I need a little bit more. Strengthen the military high command. That would just do it. Okay. Um, we also do kind of want to appease them. Is that going to be for 80 days? Yeah, 80 days. That's how long it would take. I could technically do that. Yeah, you know what? Council diplomatic effort. It's going to be the final one. It's the final one we're spending it on. All right, here in Haas. That's going to take 10 days. Okay. That should allow me to do it immediately on time. That is good timing, actually. Two, one, boom. Okay, so that did it. Cantons are in control. That means we should be able to unlock, yes, closer democratic ties. Here we go. 
which is good because I'm going to be in a situation here where uh, they, 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 the, the Germans are not going to be happy with me, <laughs> or the Italians for that matter. Closer democratic ties. What is that as? Minus 35, minus 10, we're still good? Connect to the Maginot What? Adds eight land forts? Oh dear lord. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I can do this, connect to the Maginot Line, that's going to add eight land forts, right, to those three provinces. But then simultaneously, if I then do fortify border with Germany, that adds two land forts in every neighboring province that I have with Germany. So on some of those, that is going to increase that to 10. Oh shoot, yeah, I'm saving that. Because that's a 70-day focus, okay, that is only a 35-day focus. So as long as I get that prior to war breaking out, I'm fine. American industrial investment, all right. Political power gain, 10%. Construction speed, plus 25%. Holy crap. Wait, the United States refused to invest. Is that because they're not involved? I guess it's because they focused on neutrality that they just weren't willing to do anything. I mean, I, okay, well, that, that sucks, actually. Well, I guess we just have to take a stance and do whatever we can. And with that, now we can go ahead and join the Alliance. All right, here we go. Let's join the Allies, boys. Because they're, um... The, the powers are not happy with us anyway right now. Like, they're, they're just, they're very much not. In fact, a smart thing for me to try to do, probably right now, would be to improve relations with them, just in case any funny business happens. Also, I should have done this earlier, but I should have done free trade, absolutely, because I am producing so much aluminum that I'm not actually going to be able to use. I don't produce any of it, so in this case, we're just going to trade for the steel we need and sell all of our aluminum. And yeah, yeah, I should have done that way earlier because that's going to increase our construction speed even more. United Kingdom welcomes us to the Allies. All right, boys, here we are. <laughs> no more balance of power bullshit. All right. So now let's go ahead and lay down the groundwork. And we're going to need to start building some, uh, building some shit up here for forts and whatnot pretty soon. Arsenal of the Alps giving us nine military factories. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, now we're in the Allies, so we have some actual infantry, which means we can add this. We only have 10 experience, we're going to need to get that up quicker. And then what we do is we go and select every single guy we have here. Oh, and look, all the Swiss infantry are now updated. Fantastic, okay. Damn, Austrian, minus 20% chance for a fort to get damaged? And I'm building level 10 forts everywhere. Oh my god, this is so strong. Holy crap, minus 10% consumer goods, 40% construction speed, civilian factory construction- What? That is ridiculous. Can I just go ahead and activate that now? Absolutely, defense, but, ugh, defense fund drive. I'm doing that. Yes. Okay, it's December of 1938, which means I pretty much have time for three 70-day focus trees. So at this point, what we're going to end up doing is we need to add another infantry. Get that set. So we can crank out more army experience because unfortunately, we still have not been able to get a chief of army. Oh, so let's get fighting for the hills. Actually, wait. Army experience plus 100. Yes, we absolutely need that. That is incredibly value, considering that we have not been able to get hardly any army experience. And now that we have nothing to build, we go ahead and start fortifying. All right, awesome. That means Swiss infantry. We can go ahead and, let's see, get some engineer, anti-air, and Swiss artillery. All right, let's see. Standard 18 with infantry. Fantastic. Now we actually have that awesome and standardized. Here we go. Now we go ahead and fortify the border with Germany. Just get that started. And also, holy shit, that I want to keep this president as long as possible, plus 40% to all construction speed. Hell yeah, I will do that over and over again. Let's start cranking out some anti-air. Alright, next one on the list, Luftschutz. Dear God, look at look at all these bonuses. Adds a radar station, add a radar station, adds two anti-air. This is just, the Swiss have the ability to turn their entire area into a massive fortress. I love it. I absolutely love it. And let's just recruit some more men, because I have a feeling... We're going to really need it. June of 1939, that means it's finally time to connect to the Maginot boys. Here we go. Let's see all those forts just rise up. Because we got the molotov Ribbentrop Pact, which means all these 2 out of 10s should become 10 out of 10s in just a moment. Fantastic. There we go. German Reich considers us in breach of neutrality. Sir, we already were. I don't know why you're upset now. You're about to be in breach of everyone's neutrality soon. And let's see all these spots. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Actually, wait. I can just check this. Hold on. Land forts, here we go. We have... Wait a minute, weren't all the spots here on the Jura Mountains also supposed to be fortified? Oh shoot, I may have misinterpreted that, which means, learning experience, we need to start rapidly building these things up in case France falls. Well shoot, okay, we're probably gonna lose a lot more men, so Spirit of St. Bernard then, I was wrong. But no, seriously, look at this effect. Add Spirit of St. Bernard, which grants field hospital tricklebacks plus 50% and experience loss factor minus 45%. So that means as soon as I get 10 more army experience, go here, add the field hospitals, and this is probably going to have some insane bonuses. We just need to verify once it actually comes out. 
Because right now it's 20% and 10%, so let's see if it increases on paper. I don't know if it actually will. Because I don't know if that is going to be a hard 50 and 45 that just added, or that's 50% of what it already was. So if it was 20%, that makes it 30%. So we can see. Poland refuses German ultimatum. That means that's about to happen. All right, which means Germany declares war on Poland. Poland's about to call us in. And we accept the call to arms. Okay, we are now at war. For the love of God, France, please do not suicide yourself against the enemy line here. Let's up conscription and simultaneously go to war economy. Okay, Alpine region, enemy has air superiority. They should be getting shot down. And we just let the Germans do their little German thing over there on that side and prepare. Okay, these guys are ready to go. Which means I go ahead and redeploy these troops. Maybe I can help kind of protect the French from this side. If we can hold, we're going to be basically invincible. But it's a matter of if we can hold. German pressure towards the Benelux. There that goes. Let's see if I can help him over on this side. Okay, Spirit of St. Bernard. What did that do? Field hospital trick back plus 50%. Experience loss factor minus 45%. Did that affect me on the ground like for my individual units? Holy shit it did! Wait a minute. So as Switzerland, I get 70% trickle back on all of my units and experience loss minus 55% on losses. You don't even need to use field hospitals. I could just leave it there and it's fine. Oh my God, that is so powerful. That is so strong. All right, we're gonna send some additional units over there, see what we can do to protect the side as soon as they start the actual attack. All right, Poland is gone, which means they should be heading over this way shortly. All right, Netherlands joins the allies. Here we go. Here we go, let's see what this does. All right, Netherlands is gone. That means... All right, and there goes the war with Belgium. Hold back line, go. Let's see if we can try and keep Belgium alive. I would greatly appreciate it if we could. There we go, break them down. Let them wear themselves out. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, I'm not liking some of the colors that I'm seeing over on this side. France, are you not going to send in your troops to try and help the Belgians? Holy crap, already we are already causing 30,000 casualties of the Germans. Oh boy. All right, let's just move in, move in, move in. Go, 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 go. More field hospitals, we're about to take some serious losses here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, they're staying in. If we could just keep the Belgians alive here for as long as possible. The more losses we cause, the worse it will be for them. All right, if we can just hold here across the entire line. Actually, we're doing a pretty damn good job from the looks of it so far. That's a lot of green. All right, we'll just need to keep rotating them. Just move them on down, whatever we can. The longer we hold, the better it will be. All right, because the longer we hold, the more allied troops will flood in to be able to support us. Okay, no, that's not good. This will actually give the French time to reorganize. All right, the more we hold them, the better. Are they attacking on this side? No, no, they are not. The Italians are not joining in on this so far. Are we taking some losses? Yeah, we're taking four like K losses in comparison to the 100,000 that we've caused. Oh my God, this national spirit is insane. And it's about to get even better too. Cause what, what are we researching? Field hospital two, an additional 10%. All right, come back to me in 50 days. Spirit of resistance. Train Swiss women, yes, 25% recruitable population factor. Why not? This is, this is insane. We already have effect of 125%, so that's going to be 150% because now the women can serve. Yes, the women can fight. I'm a feminist. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Are they actually starting to push down through there? Uh-oh. Ooh, we're starting to get a little dicey in some spots. They're pouring more and more resources into this. Whew, this is a lot of micro. Okay, come on. Actually, with the Italians not having joined in yet, could I take two more divisions unassigned? I'm just going to send it over a couple things as some additional support. I can't risk the side on the Germans. Field hospital. Here we go. What are we at now? 80% trickle back. 80% of our losses will come right back into our manpower pool. And we're losing 65% less experience. All right. Give two additional ones. Come on. Send in the support. You can last. Whoa. And there go the Italians. Okay. Now they're involved in this conflict. All right. Come on. We got to rush down. All right. Come on, boys. Defend. Okay. But with the French distracted up in the north, this could actually be pretty bad. Delay quickly. We, we need to we need to try and preserve this as long as we possibly can. Uh, I was holding the hoping that we could hold this, but I think with the Italians joining down south, that that's going to create a little bit of a problem. Infantry expert. Okay, here we go. Oh come on, please, Frenchies, last as long as you possibly can. I've given you so much additional time. Wait, it's January 1940. What are their losses? Holy shit! The Germans have already lost half a million. Dude, this is so powerful. This is this is so so powerful, Frenchies. Please, for the love of God, stop throwing your lives away. You're supposed to be running in the other direction, not forward. God, we're still in the positives on all equipment. This is insane. Whoo! Okay, that's looking dangerous, actually. Come on, no, we gotta send you back to the thick of it. Come on, boys, you can last, you can last. Please don't die for the love of God. Don't retreat, don't retreat. You can make it, there we go. Make it last a little bit longer. Yes, green, here we go. Oh my God, I'm just like on the tip. Oh, I am so concerned and scared right now. We might need to retreat. We might need to retreat and leave the Belgians. 
Like, the Germans have lost close to 700,000 men by February of 1940, but I mean, it is what it is. Are they able to make it here? Are they able to make it? Oh, baby, make it. Yeah, there you go. Come on. The end of the League of Nations. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can make it. You can make it. Six. Come on, please. Yes, yes, we did it. We did it. <laughs> this is so stressful. Oh, no, but now the North has fallen. Uh, shoot. Come on. All right, thunder in the valleys. Let's go. Let's get more army experience. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. I feel like, like, what is this gameplay? It's just me, like, reacting like, uh, the entire time because I can't do anything because it's just a scrantic framble to try to maintain the front line. Okay, they're holding a little bit more. There we go. There we go. It's starting to stabilize a little bit. As they lose more men and equipment, it's going to be harder for the Germans to maintain their pushes because they're literally running out of guns. Oh, that was a close loss. That was a close one. Oh, my God. I almost lost that one. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. We actually lost that. We lost Ghent. Are we able to push it? No, we're not able to push it. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, we lost that. Mobile defense. Increase 10%. There we go. That should help stabilize this. That should help all along our lines. Oh, shoot. We lost that one, too. Uh-oh. Boys, this might be it. We might be losing France. All right. All right. Let's just withdraw back. Withdraw back. Regroup. Hold our lines. Do whatever we can. Oh, my God. Brussels is holding out. It's, it's so close. It's holding out, buddy. April 1940. A million dead Germans. It's... I, I, what do I even say here? How much manpower and equipment and everything have they burned through here? Oh, hey, Frenchies. I see you making a little breakthrough down south. I am running out of manpower, though. This is not good. Oh, yeah, I'm running out of manpower. I, I might even need to go and delete one of these units here. Um, shoot. It is it is what it is. We, we need it. Even though I'm recruiting men constantly, we are still taking losses despite everything. Come on, if we just last a little bit longer, get me to 100 army experience, I really want to get that next level in my doctrine. Anything happening down south? Nope, just Frenchies sacrificing themselves. Shit, okay. Come on, make it over, make it over. Come on, go. There you go. Okay, get those troops over here. Fantastic, we got that. Uh, take one of these. Micro up. It's just a lot of micro. It's just a lot of micro and panic. So much panic. Weapons of democracy. <laughs> Richard Nixon's back and he's been hiding in Switzerland. Oh, shoot. We lost that province. Okay. Shoot. I don't think we're able to hold here. Sorry, Belgians. I'm giving up. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do it. Oh, boy. Yep, because unfortunately there goes the Belgians. And as soon as they fall, that means they're declaring on Luxembourg, which means they take that territory. And now I think they're going after everything else. All right, Luxembourg gone. Let's see here. Uh, actually, wait, they're holding up all along this line. I think I, I think I should adjust my, my line myself. All right, we'll send them to the border with France. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, wait, were our soldiers pushing the front line? What? <laughs> when did this happen? No, 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 no. Brits, Brits, please. I don't actually want to do that. I don't want to do that. All right, give them time to heal. Let them build up all of their, their stuff. Okay, okay. And entrenchment bonuses. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go, and now they're, now they're starting the attack again. This should help us. Shoot, I have no manpower, though. We gotta get that back. Service by requirement. Everyone's gotta serve, baby. I'm sorry. Uh, using the Belgians as a sacrificial battleground pig. What a tragedy. Open logistics. What are they missing? Are they missing any guns? Is anyone missing any guns? I love this open logistics feature. I love that I can see all the stuff from my allies, because I know they're missing a ton of guns, trucks, literally everything. So, I'm sure they would be happy if I just gave them... How many guns do I have in total? 23,000? Yeah, I can give them like 10,000 guns. I can give them like 400 support equipment, 800 artillery, and like 1,000 trucks. I'm sure that will make them very happy. I love that I can do that. That should help support all along the front line so I can actually distribute all this stuff. And now we hold. Desperately so. Just trying to get everything lined up. All right, we're at full entrenchment bonus. Let's see if they try and launch an attack now. If they do, it would basically be suicide, but the French are losing down here. God, it's the French and the Italians. Like, it's it's just literally someone slapping a baguette on a wet noodle. I, I don't know which is sadder, to be honest. At this point, that's it. That's that's the end of the focus tree. I can't I can't actually do anything more here. Um Okay, well, I guess I guess the only thing that we can do now is just set this to constantly repair. Yeah, construction repair. Just just do that, I guess. Alright, now we just gotta micro and control all the stuff along the front line here. Alright. Oh, and they're actually trying to test me down here now. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. This this could be a bit dangerous if they actually push me here. Okay, just hold. Come on. Oh, they're starting to push me down south. I might have to abandon the French. I might have to abandon the French if this just proves to be untenable. Oh, no. Well, shit. Okay, looks like th th we're gonna have a bit of a problem. The Swiss were able to hold the line. The French, not so much. We're withdrawing all, tro all troops. 
France, you had a good run, but I'm afraid that it's over. Yep, now here comes the grand sl- Oh, wait, what? They drove them back! Oh, no, I abandoned the French and they actually drove them back down here. Oh, uh, shit. Do I actually send a, uh, over some help or do I just ignore them now at this point? Um, shit. Well, sorry, France. I feel so damn bad. Oh, Lord, that's- Oh, that's so funny, actually. Here, we're gonna hold, we're gonna build up our oil supplies and everything again. Oh, my God, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, France. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, now here come the hordes. <laughs> oh, no. And there goes all of my steel. I now can't buy any steel. Is there anyone that will trade with me? Vichy France. Oh, <gasps> Vichy France, you'll still trade with me? Thank you. Oh, God, otherwise I'd be in really bad shape. This is so goddamn nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh, this is pretty dicey. Okay. I love how there's just one British troop just staying there not doing anything. Yugoslavia. Okay, wait, hey, that, that, no wonder the Germans left the front line. I was wondering what they were doing. Okay, thank God. That actually gave me a little bit of a breather. All right, good. Now, now we can actually start rebuilding. Okay. We've only, we've only suffered a little bit of damage to say the least. All right. All right. We're just, we're just holding. I'm just sitting here just like, oh, just frozen, waiting for anything to happen. Our mission at this point, hold. The unfortunate thing is the Germans have already started preparing some of their forces. Oh, there they go on the attack again. Okay. Japan declared war on the Dutch East Indies, which means they should be joining in on the war now. United States joined the United Kingdom. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Let, let's go. Germans, I would really appreciate it if you just went after the goddamn Soviets or something. Come on, hold the south, hold the south. We got this. God, I can't even do anything over here on this side. Like, Germans, could you please, please, for the love of God, declare on the Soviets? This is actually making me very scared right now. Oh, dear Lord, this sucks. What are we at now? April 1942. 2.74 million dead Germans. <laughs> and they haven't even fought the Soviets yet. Oh, God, this is awful. This is, it's, it's just like, this is constant micro is all this is. I was so proud of myself. Of course, this entire time, I'm not receiving any help. D-Day isn't happening because they're too busy fighting in Greece. Oh, that's close. That's close. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. God damn, they're just pouring all their attacks in. Oh, boy. Max entrenchment. Yes. Okay, here we go. Ambush. Anything we can to help support. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, come on. That's our last case. That's the last one we can do. Dear God, why are you just continuously throwing yourselves at me? Okay. All right. We're, we are now officially surrounded on all sides. Okay. God, the Italians just throwing themselves at me. Whew, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Send in the boys. Send in the boys. Send in the boys. Oh my God. That means I lost all of my steel. <gasps> oh no. With Vichy France, there's no steel. Oh shit. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, though. We have some deep reserves of equipment. I, I don't think we need to produce any more right now anyway. I have the entire force of Barbarossa literally on my doorstep because they won't attack the Soviets. This might have been a mistake. Maybe. Oh, my God. They're just stacking more troops. I can't even switch over to the new type of air because I have no seal. Can I get, like, any help at all down here? I have been holed up here in my mountain three years almost. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's just like one dude spazzing out trying to hold everything. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, now we're sitting here with 64% entrenchment. All right. God, are they not able to push? Come on. God, what are the losses even at? The Allies have lost over 7 million men. How? Wh who is Greece? Greece has lost 630,000. Wait a minute. Greece, how the hell have you lost 630,000? Oh. Every single adult in your entire country is dying. Okay. Well, at least the children can serve in the factories then. For the love of God, please stop throwing away your lives in Greece. This is so pointless. Oh my God, are the allies actually getting pushed out of North Africa? Are you kidding me? Are the allies actually getting pushed out of North Africa? Okay, I guess the Swiss are going to somehow build naval bases for you since I have nothing else to build on my own damn land so that I can at least try and provide some measure of support. Oh, 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 is that a landing? Because they're not attacking the Soviets, that means that D-Day is probably going to fail. Are you kidding me? Turkey joins the Allies. Okay. So that's, that's something, right? Right? That should, if they are able to attack from this side. Yes. Yes. Go. Go, my Turkish brothers. Please don't die. 
Please, because this is this is all I can think of. Okay, well, it didn't exactly work. All right, just building a ton of shipyards down there so they can try and provide some supply because I can't do anything. I don't even have the strength to actually attack any units. I don't have the manpower. I, all I can do is sit here and defend and not do anything. This was so much better in the beginning. Oh my God, the ports that I built just got taken by the Italians. Are you kidding me? Whoa, oh, 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 finally, finally. Romania has declared war against the Soviets. It's happening. Okay. Oh my god, I thought that it wasn't gonna happen. It took until 1944. Oh, but wait, that means that the Soviets are fully ready. Are they not? Oh my god. It's the Soviets that are pushing. The Germans have to flood all of their units over. Oh. Oh, the Soviets are pushing. That is gonna weaken the Germans everywhere. Finally, finally. Oh, and there we go. Finally, they're taking it back. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let, let's start something. Let's start something then. Holy shit, we actually took Milan. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just retreat all my troops back and just do the same thing again. If I can wipe out more of their units, then why not? All right, there's two more units wiped. I'm just going to repeat this process because I can't do anything, so we're launching. It's like little raids from the redoubts. That's all we can do. Oh, Benito Mussolini deposed. <gasps> yes. Okay. Okay, so that's happened. New thing with the event. I love seeing it, except this time... Unlike my last video, it's it, it's on the opposing side, not my side, which is good. Wait a minute, it's pretty much wide open down here to the south, and they're not moving their units over here. Could I just, like, hold on, hold on. It's a very interesting strategy, Council of Fascism. Do you think that it's, uh, you think it's applicable? Oh, wow. And now, <laughs> now Italy's in a civil war. Okay, wait, so is the, the Republica Social, is that that's still the enemy? Yeah, that's still the enemy. So wait, where's... So nothing's changed. We're still fighting here. Okay. Oh, whoa. No, wait. Liberation of Warsaw. Oh, the Soviets are moving in. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it, boys. Let's claim some Italian land. Let's claim it. It's ours. There we go. It wipes out those units. Hey, there you go. They capitulated. Fantastic. All right. Well, there goes Italy, which means <laughs> that's a lot of German units that just got lost up here, I think. All right, we'll just let you guys move that way so that I can head on over here to the side. The fall of Berlin. Oh, whoa, wait, did they make it all that far already? Holy crap, they did. Oh, uh, yeah, this is not exactly going to work out so well for him, it looks like. Iran has joined the Axis. Lovely. Uh, you know what? I I I'm thinking I'm liking the shape of this. This, however, is kind of terrifying. And I'm thinking it means that the Soviets are going to get basically everything in this world. Oh, yep, there's free France. Yeah, it's all falling apart under them. Oh, boy. Well, at this point, I think we can just sacrifice some more Swiss lives and try and get some more war support. I don't think... Oh, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's, uh, that is not what we want to do at all. Oh, my God, I did not realize they had massed all their forces on my line. <laughs> Germans, why? I think that you have more pressing matters. Oh, there it goes. Oh, German Reich has capitulated. Well, everyone, it's over. <laughs> I give you the supreme state of Switzerland. All mountain, one super long boy. The end result of what happens when you choose peace as not being an option. Wait, Regino del Sud is a puppet of the Swiss Confederate? When did I get the Italians as my puppet? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 what? When did I get the Italians as a puppet? I didn't choose to do that. I'm guessing because they surrendered to me, that meant that it made them my puppet. I, I don't know. I, 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 I absolutely don't know. Guys, I gotta say, the this path, the aggressive democracy path, is it's a pretty fun one. I like this. I, I really do enjoy it. I think I want to do Switzerland again, except I want to try the non-aligned one at some point, because this looks like it has a lot more expansive and attacking fun, so to speak. Anyway, that was an absolute wild ride. Please let me know what it is that I should do next. Thank you very much for watching. Well, I say next. Next one's going to be Ethiopia, which is also going to be kind of like this one with a copious amount of micro. I hope you all have a good rest of your day, and goodbye, guys. Oh, also, before I forget, please let me know down in the comment section uh, what my quality of the video is like. A lot of people have complained about stuff being like 260p, so what you can see here is I completely updated everything for like the user interface, I tried to increase the quality from my camera, I tried to do anything that I could. So, please, if this is what you'd like to see, let me know. I, I, I want to make sure that this channel is fun and enjoyable for everyone. Goodbye, guys.